Oh, I'll tell you, Hernandez. I was not sure what to expect when I first packed him as he didn't even fit into my team. But 200 matches later, I'm sitting here doing this review saying that he is one of the best team of the seasons out there and one of the best left backs in the game. Three star, three star. As you can see, I've played 201 games, 10 goals scored, 21 assists. Now, those ain't crazy numbers for a fullback, but through the footage, you'll see exactly how fun this card is to use and how much he contributes to the team. And just generally, a great, great card. You can play left back, left wing back, and look at those pace stats 99 pace, 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. He's also got 80 shooting, 90 passing, 90 dribbling, 90 defending, 91 physical. So, other than shooting, every other stat is in the 90s which shows exactly how great this card really really is uh, player traits he's also a speed dribbler so without further ado let's look at team of the season teo hernandez and right off the bat here you can see him in his left back position he just drives through the midfield he can cut in he can go out he just he just glides past people effortlessly and he's even scored a hat-trick in a match for me from left back literally those pace stats are crazy Beckham over the free kick and somehow Teo Hernandez has even risen up and scored a header crazy for a left back and this is the same game, this is probably his third goal. Same again, weaving in and out of midfield on that left side. He finds space so easily and just like that. That was his third goal of the game. I don't know if any left back has ever scored a hat trick. Ever. But Teo Hernandez, this is me from kickoff again, down that left side does a ball roll to get past two players does another ball roll to get past the last defender and then the final ball roll to beat the center back to then go and score a great great goal from kickoff if that doesn't highlight how fun this card is to use then i don't know here we go again from kickoff Theo hernandez he's almost like a left winger with those ball rolls look at that weaving in and out and that scary scary pace just knocks it past players do you know what this this is a review where the gameplay will do all the talking and it's not just all about attacking look at his defending there steals the ball and he's off plays a ball roll before playing a final pass which puts Musiala through but somehow we mess it up here he is again one ball roll past two players another ball roll past another player and subsequently gets fouled because that's the only way you can stop him here he is defending just shows you know it's not all about attacking he can defend as well here he is on that left wing position again just runs in a straight line look at that pace that's that pace and he finds a killer pass to Kylian Mbappe who finishes it first time killer killer pass I have to say this is one of my favorite cards this year hands down one of the most fun cards to use one of my favorites this year and you know when I packed him I didn't even know what to do because he did not fit into my team but what a great card here he gets beaten first time but he makes a great recovery showing his defensive side and now he's off he's off down the middle he's become a striker now and he's gone and scored again straight down the middle like a traditional center forward that is the definition of turning defense into attack here we go from kickoff again just conceded Theo and that cuts into midfield still going still going and he's now dinked it over the keeper he's got every attribute to be a great striker you would not you cannot tell me he's got 80 shooting 
by watching this clip and with the shifting from attack to defense gets beat once gets beat twice but look at his look at the persistence stays on it and eventually makes that tackle now he's broken free on that left wing where he's ever so dangerous and there's the crossing attribute he's even got the crossing pinned down in his locker here he's looking gliding past people with that 99 pace and sprint speed just glides and puts it on a plate for Havertz that is an unmissable chance every striker's dream do you know what, I might have to give this card a 10 out of 10 rating. I'm not sure if I've given a card 10 out of 10 this year. But Theo Hernandez, definitely worthy. Here he is again, almost identical, finds Havertz again. Puts it on a plate as easy as you like. This card is illegal, honestly. Here he is. He's almost what Arteta is trying to do with Zinchenko, the way he cuts into midfield. Obviously, he was nominated for a push cast because the way... Look at that goal. What a goal. That's a left winger's goal right there. He was obviously nominated for a push cast because of the goal that he scored, driving through the whole team down the whole pitch and scoring a goal. Look at those ball rolls. Pass three, pass four. Now he's in the box and he scores again. And you know what? Every goal he scores is a beauty. He does not score tappings. As a left back, obviously, you're not going to score tappings. Every goal he scores has been amazing. Off on his back again. Finds the pass, gets fouled in the process, but gets the assist. Good finish by Havertz, to be fair. But um, again, most of the work done by Teo. Here he is from kickoff again. Past one, past two, past three, past four. Oh, that that was a, that was just that should have been a cross. Obviously, that's my mistake. Here he is again, another great goal. The surprise is he's only scored about ten goals. Kyle Walker was the other right back, Gold Kyle Walker was the other right back who scored a lot of goals with this year. But Teo Hernandez is he's untouchable. Look at you cannot get near him. Drives through through people for fun and nearly scores again there. You just expect him to score. Here we are from kickoff again. And the fact that I've done it to so many people just shows that this card is undefendable. And he's won a penalty there. Almost guaranteed output. When you make that driving run with him. And just to finish off the clip. Just show you how good he is at defending. He's made the interception and he's off on his bike. Past everybody. Ran through the whole team. He's made a tackle and he's ran through the whole team. And he's ruined it at the end. Well, I've ruined it at the end. But what do I think of the card? I think if you've made it this far into the video, I think you know what I think of this card. This card is absolutely amazing. Um, probably the most fun card I've used in this game. Probably the best review I've done as well because that, just looking back at those clips, I'm like, how amazing is this card? He is an absolute steal rating wise i'm gonna give this card a 10 out of 10 he's not in my team anymore because i've got roberto carlos now but i very much miss this card he's so fun to use he's got the pace and the dribbling on this card is illegal thank you for watching guys if you like this video please like share subscribe i'll catch you on the next one